<laughs> well, yeah, because it's, it's a, it, I feel like it shouldn't even be in question. Art, um, it's a way for kids to express themselves that most people can't normally. Um, like, I'm a scientist, and science isn't really something that you can easily express your personality. It's all data. Art gives you an outlet to show who you really are. Am I wrong? Yeah. Um, yeah, go off of that even. And these are the artists here. And that's, <laughs> that's coming from a scientist. So. To, to go off of that even, it, it lets you show a way of part of yourself that you can't really express any other way. You know, For example, we both write music and, you know, even though we can be very similar, have very similar personalities, you know, we're, you know, our music sounds really different from each other. And that's just because it's different sides of us that are very different. And it's really the only way you can get that sort of expression out. It gives it gives kids an outlet to uh, a, a lot of times you know that's a difficult time in you know lower level schools if they don't have something to, to to get that out some kind of creative outlet they bottle it up and then that leads to, to problems down the road uh, I find in my experience I mean my sister's 14 and she's happiest when she's making something with her hands or without art we might as well be machines yeah you know, it's important in schools uh, it's something that everybody should learn. Why? Um, it's uh, an important tool. It allows you to think in different ways that you want to think. Well, one thing is I think um, doing something that is different from speaking or writing or you know other kinds of like expression, um, things that aren't verbal are really valuable just in general use different parts of your brain, um, even if you don't plan on, like, if, if you know, like, when you're in middle school, like, you don't plan on being an artist, um, I think it's a good outlet and a good complement to all kinds of study.